So I wanted to tell you how silly I am, <laughs> which I'm sure you know if you watch long enough that I'm pretty silly. Um, yesterday, um, Gavin was getting ready to leave, and I couldn't find these little men he has. And it bugs me so, so, so much when a toy is missing. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. So these are the men that I'm talking about. The These little, I call them everything a man, a man. <laughs> Um, they, they aren't men, some of them are girls, but, um, they were just missing. I mean, one second they were on the desk, and the next second they were gone. Oh. So, we looked everywhere for them. Um, I mean, like, everywhere. Okay, so anyway, we, you saw what the men look like. We looked everywhere for them because I told Andrew about this. I told Ashley about this. Andrew actually got on his knees at Gavin's level and tried to uh, go through the house like he was Gavin. Because we thought for sure Gavin had hit these toys because he's been known to do things like that at home. He's been known to take Christina's <laughs> cell phone and hide it and then Christina doesn't have it. So... Which is funny, but it's not funny when it's you, you know? It's funny because it was her and not me. So anyway, no, you can't have things on the desk. So we looked and looked and looked and looked. And at 11.15 last night, before I went to bed, I was looking for those people because it bothers me. I don't know if I've ever um, uh, told you all that um, if I've ever shared with you, it really bothers me if like a piece is missing to a toy, if a puzzle piece is missing, or just a piece to a toy, it bothers me a lot. So this morning, men are still missing because Andrew said, well, they'll turn up when you least expect it. So men are still missing this morning. Gavin gets here. I go in the bathroom because I haven't put my makeup on. I'm running late and he's here. So he comes in the bedroom and he grabs, see that tub of Legos over there, that green tub. He grabs that because it's sitting in its normal spot by Guido's stairs. And he brings it in the bathroom because as I showed you yesterday, he has to have entertainment while we're, you know, in the bathroom. So he brings the tub of Legos in there and he dumps them out guess what's in the bottom. So apparently, and Andrew had asked me yesterday, could they be in that tub? I said, no, that's Legos only. I looked in the tub twice. It was all Legos. I must have scooped them up yesterday and I wasn't thinking. So instead of laying them over next to the house, I put them in the tub with the Legos because I was scooping everything up quickly because I try to clean up before nap time. That way, when he's finished with his nap, he can uh, get everything messy again, like he's doing now, which is fun. That's okay. I don't mind cleaning up, um, cleaning many, many times a day. That's just part of having kids. I think if you don't want your house trashed all the time, then certain times of the day, you choose to clean up. For me, the first time I choose to clean up is before nap, but I want to show you how anal I am because... You can't possibly understand unless I show you. Ashley used to have a bake shop, a Barbie. She used to have Barbie stuff. And honestly, Hi. Hi. who are you talking to? He's talking to one of his people. I guess I'm not supposed to notice. Um, honestly, I think the Barbies were more for me because I was a Barbie lover. So I was trying to collect things for her and um, just get her this big collection of Barbie stuff. And honestly, I don't think she really cared about it. She played with it some. She really did. But um, I don't know. I think I'm the one that liked them more than her. Ashley was always into books, and she loved to read, and she liked to write her own songs, and she would uh, she wrote a lot. And uh, But anyway, back to the subject. I want to show you how angle I was. I pulled up a picture on my computer. Uh, this is a, the bake shop I was telling you about that Ashley used to have. It was a Barbie bake shop. And this is it closed up. And so this is another side of it. So but when you opened it, it had all these components to it. It had the cups and um, it had muffins, 
and little cookies, and there were cookie cutters. There were menus, actual pies and cakes, and you see each one of these little bitty pieces of pie went on this um, turntable thing, this cake stand that had a register. Those were, those were the menus. So anyway, all of that is set up perfect because that is how it had to be set up at night. And I would take care of it. It was no big deal. I did not pass my OCD tendencies, I don't think, on to Ashley as far as cleaning goes. Because uh, I haven't seen any indication of that yet. Hand hand. But I was very particular about um, her toys. What else do I have? Um... Oh, this is another one. She had the airplane, and it had a cart with little bitty Coca-Colas, cups, there were headphones, trays for the food. There was an ice bucket with ice. Um, there were all kinds of, there's a better view of it, little components to it, and there's the trays set up. But uh, the reason I have such good pictures of these is because I sold these. And then she had a van, and there were pieces to that too. So anyway, you just see that from me showing you these, that um, I was very particular about... Um, <laughs> this was a case of Kevin's that he kept. It was He kept computer stuff in it, like little parts and stuff like that and men use them all the time for tools it was the perfect place to keep her barbie shoes and you see we did them according to color and it would kill me when we would lose a shoe i see one right there that's from one of mine from the 80s and of course i don't know why i kept it it was gone um but anyway I keep very good care of things, and so it bothers me when something is missing. And so, um, this was a pregnant Barbie, and I sold her. I might have sold her on eBay, I'm not sure. But, um, Ashley had just all kinds of stuff. There's their birth certificates. It's a boy, it's a girl. So you can probably tell from me showing you those pictures that it just really disturbed me uh, when something would go missing. Here, here's another one I found. Hold on. So here's the dream house that was out when she was little. And it's different than the, the dream house that I had. I had the A-frame, which I absolutely love. This is it folded up. And there's some, we bought this set separately. It was some porch uh -huh. furniture. And then here's everything in the house. Do you want to get up here and look at these pictures? Here, hold on. So, um, th these are a lot of sets combined um, that I put in the house. Like that kitchen thing is not part of the house. I added that to the house. And then the food, of course, and stuff like that did not come with it. But that's a good example. That is a boombox uh, with CDs, actual little bitty mini CDs. Bleh. Yes, that's a bathtub. And there's all the stuff together. And then, what is this? Oh, I forgot she had this. This is a townhouse she had, and that was like all by itself. But then I was selling these things with it. No, 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 no. Okay. Gavin is like, I don't want to look at girl toys. This is a set I bought at yard sale, so it never did have everything with it. These were different sets. I had, she had a, I'm saying I had, Ashley had a Pizza Hut, a candy store, a grocery store. But you can see how well maintained those were too. This was a little Kelly lemonade stand. This was an ATM set. They were well maintained because, you know, if they're not played with. And then 
This came with a teacher Barbie that we bought. This came from a yard sale. These came from an eBay that I won that never did have everything in it that it was supposed to have. I'm sure you all love looking through all these pictures of Ashley's old toys. Ashley had a ton of toys, though. I mean, the Polly Pockets, you would not believe the Polly Pockets that she had. Yeah. All those little things are Polly Pockets. Yeah, that whole tub. It was absolutely ridiculous. And Kevin would die a little bit every Christmas when he would see more Polly Pocket stuff. These are all Barbie animals. We had a Barbie pet shop and a vet. And uh, so, and then we had bought separate sets uh, by themselves. And so, we had all kinds of... Um, animals and they were all there and all their um, accessories were there what else oh that's close up Oh, and these are just like little accessories that we had. Didn't mean to zoom in there on you. Oh, this was a set. This was like a, I don't know, some kind of princess set. But birthday cakes, and I had the candles for the birthday cake. This was bought at a yard sale, so it never did have the pieces to it. I don't even know what it was supposed to look like, honestly. Oh, this was really cute. This is a Kelly Castle. And that's how it looks with nothing in it. And, oh, well, I guess that, oh, it does have some stuff in it. It has the plates and the candelabra. Not much came with it. Stuff over there. And then this was a playground set. A Kelly playground set that we had. Really cute. This was the bathroom set. And a kitchen. And all the stuff's there. Oh, and this was... Uh, I always had to keep this straight. These are several sets put together and some yard sale stuff. So, like, this came from a yard sale. This was a set. That was a set. And this refrigerator was a yard sale. And then, um, like, those are, um, uh, that's a spice rack. That's a spice rack. And I those lids come off. I made sure they all stayed together, the cups. There were plates. Um, it was crazy. This drawer was full of utensils. It was so full of utensils you couldn't close it. And usually I kept the birthday candles in there. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. And then here is another... Um, Here's another bathroom set. Hold on. I'm almost finished showing you her sets. I know, you really want to see this. And this is a, a living room set that I had when I was growing up. I don't really even know if it was Barbie, but we got it as a Barbie set. That's how we played with it. And then the Elmo came with a Tickle Me Elmo Barbie. And that was a living room set. And notice that there's a computer. The candle actually comes out of the stand. There are four potato chips. Uh, and yes, I kept those together for years, those four potato chips. 
That might be. That might be it. Polly Pocket. These are strawberry shortcakes. And she had a ton of. Um, yeah, I'll see. I sold these, and um, so you had to take good pictures of them. And you, actually, I did not sell these. I actually ended up. I, I think I gave these to my sister. But they're super cute little dolls. I never had strawberry shortcake when I was growing up. I wish I had them though, because they were really cute. Um, I always just, I stuck with the Barbies. Oh, and then, of course, we have Beanie Babies. And all of the Beanie Babies are gone. Andrew still has his collection. And actually, I'm storing that for him. So anyway, I'm sorry I took so long. I didn't intend to show you all those pictures. But I just wanted to point out, like, how OCD, like, I mean, I'm not. What are you doing? Yeah. He says, sorry, sorry. It's okay. You didn't do anything, honey. Oh. Um, I'm not about certain things, but other things like toys, puzzles, games, they need to have all their pieces together or it drives me insane. And yesterday, okay, I wasn't going to tell you this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I did yesterday. So I showed you Gavin brought his toys in here yesterday. He brought some Legos. Uh, I think that's what I showed you. Or we ended up getting Legos and taking them out anyway. Even if that's not what I showed you, that's what ended up being in here. So, I, we were leaving the bathroom, so I grabbed the Legos, and I had the Legos in this hand. So, I took my hand, I had my phone in my left hand, I had the Legos in my right hand. I took my hand, and I went to switch off the light. When I did, one of the Legos fell out of my hand. I'm going to show you where it is now. Uh, one of the dirty little secrets is Ashley has this really cool cake tray that she puts all her stuff on. And if you move Mama. this, if you move this, there is a huge Mama. Mama. crack here. It's it's a crevice, I guess. Mama. Sorry, Gavin wanted to be picked up. So there's a huge crevice there. So when the Lego fell, it fell in between there. And uh, so it is currently stuck down in there at the bottom. And the only way to get it out is going to be to, um, we're gonna have to cut that or not cut it. I thought if we could, sorry, Gavin's in the way. If we could pull this black or this piece of if we could pull this off and then reattach it, then we could get that Lego out. Look, Gavin knows it's in there. Can you touch it? You see the Lego? You see it? Yeah, it's stuck in there, isn't it? It's one of your purple Legos, and it just drives Nanny up the wall. Mama. Oh, are you wanting to... You want to use your broom to get it? I was trying to get a broom and get it yesterday. Look, he's going to try to get it. Like I was going to. Honey, we can't reach it that way. I'm going to have to get Papa to get it, okay? I'll have to get Papa to get it. Okay, so that's one of the things that drives me crazy about this bathroom. Another thing, while we're in the bathroom, I'm talking about it. Another thing that drives me crazy, because they didn't actually gut it and redo it and I understand they they're working with what they had and not trying to spend a lot of money however when you open these doors they don't open all the way because they hit the window this one too you're trying to get towels out of here and you it's horrible because um that the door hits the window every single time yes I think the cat's trying to kill the dog out here yeah, now he's running away like he didn't do anything. I'm sorry, Guido. I'm sorry, honey. He can't hear me. Anyway, that's just a couple of things that drive me crazy about the bathroom. Um, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Here we go. Mama. Yeah, hateful. Hateful little child. Chapel, why are you mean to Guido? Chapel's being mean to Guido. So anyway, I've talked long enough. I need to feed him lunch.
Okay, so today he's going to eat the Gerber Graduates Pasta Pickups. Christina brought these the other day, but we didn't use them because we had other things for him to eat first that had been here longer. So that's how I kind of do things. I, I get rid of what's been here the longest and then eat the newest. So you puncture this and you put it in the microwave for 25 seconds and then you uh, carefully... Uh, Peel back the seal just enough to drain the liquid out, and then you serve. So, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. I feel like Kevin doing a lunchtime review. <laughs> okay, here's Gavin with the pasta pickups. And he's supposed to be able to pick it up with his fingers. So, as disgusting and repulsive as that sounds to me, you go right ahead. Go right ahead. Go ahead. You can pick it up. It is cheese ravioli. Can you eat, please? Yeah. Oh, don't make a mess. Don't make a mess, please. You're not going to make a mess, are you? Make me. No, don't make a mess. No mess. Kevin and I did a review on these Special K brownies, and the only one that I've discovered who wants to actually waste 80 calories, bless you, on a little brownie is Gavin. So, because they're literally the size of a cracker. Okay, look. So, I pull some off like this and give him bites like this. And normally, he only eats half of one, but I'm going to give you more. He, by the way, did not like the ravioli, just to be clear on that. He ate a little, but not much. And uh, those meals do not heat up well. Reheat, sorry, they do not reheat well. You have to eat that first, and then I'll give you more. Chew it. Look, you see the little boy? He's eating the divine fudge. Yes, and after you finish this box, then we'll move on to the caramel box. Because I was going to give these away. I was going to let Kevin take them to work and put them on the break room table. And it's like, wait a minute. Why am I doing that when I have a little boy who here who would love some chocolate? And I don't mind giving it to him when he's eating his lunch. Um, don't mind it at all if he has some when he's eating his lunch. And he, he ate okay. Here. Want more? Yum. It's so good. It's yummy, yummy. Yum. Eat. Eat. Yes, you eat. You're a good boy. Yeah. Yes, you're a very good boy. Do you like these brownies? Do you like these? You like them? They're mm -hmm. good, aren't you? Aren't they? Do you want to hold it up for the camera? Do you want to show? Show the brownie. Show it. Yep, that's how it looks. Nice and chocolatey. Look, can you show it to people? Yes. Yes. And now can you take a bite? <laughs> yeah, take a bite. Yum. And now you got to say, mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Silly goose. He's extra excited about the music because we haven't had it on in a few weeks. Snowing! Oh, it's snowing, Kevin. What do you think about that? dog's barking. He thinks somebody's here. Do you see the snow? Yeah, snow. We have snow. We haven't really had any snow yet, so uh, this is actually pretty. Um, I don't care for cold weather at all, um, but I guess it's nice to look at. If if you don't have kids in school and don't have to worry about getting out in it, then it's great. 
So this is how it looks now. You probably cannot see that very well, but there is snow falling out there currently. I can try to zoom in. Oh yeah, you can see that, okay. Yeah, so it is falling. And it's not on the roads at all, which is a good thing though. But the cars are covered. So, and the driveway is covered. But the roads are clear. Step outside really quick because it's cold, but I put my coat on. It looks really pretty outside. I think Kevin said we got about two inches of snow last night. And here are the cars. And here's the bushes. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we'll be getting the shovel out of the, um, the shovel out of the shed back there. We hadn't done that. <laughs> hadn't needed to do that at this time. But it is really, really pretty. And it's still pretty calm outside where there's not a lot of traffic. But you see, we live on one of the main roads, so they, um, they have to keep it cleared off. It's not like a subdivision or something like that. Because we used to live in a subdivision, and they kept it pretty good, but not this clear. Okay, and then I just wanted to show you the back deck, too. Um, you can see that when it, it snows, it blows, like, off the roof. And so, it's a lot deeper right here in this area than it is, like, under the table. And that's some wood piled up there where Kevin took the shelves out of this uh, back off this back porch and he got most of the wood but not all of the wood so and look at the chairs I think the chairs are funny looking they look like they're like they're padded like they have batting on them or something like we're getting ready to cover them with material <laughs> so this is a uh, thoroughbred park and it's really cool because they have the statues of the horses and then I know I've shown you this before, but I just like downtown in general. And off in the distance, there's a big crane because they are, um, they're building a new building. Constructing a new building. It makes you wonder why it's way over to the left. Right. Mm -hmm. on the and this theater has been here for a long time, the Kentucky Theater. And you have all the government buildings, and then you have the um, you have the library, the, library the, arts. the arts building. This is where they're constructing the new building over here. Can't see anything. Yeah. It's a pretty blue fence. That's the, the Lexington History Center. And right here is where they have, during the summer, they have their um, farmer's market. And then up here, this is called uh, the Square. And you have Urban Outfitters, which I've never been in there. And you might have a new restaurant in there too. I'm not sure. I haven't been in there since Urban Outfitters took over. Pies and Pints. And then this is the Lexington Center when they have concerts and um, basketball, basketball games. Rupp that's Arena. Rupp Arena. Yeah, that's where Rupp Arena is, is right in there. University of Kentucky basketball. Okay, we're going in this place called the Rusty Scabbard. And they have all kinds of games. And uh, if you play uh, magic cards or what else, Kevin? Games. They have role playing games, stuff like that. Hero click. Hero click. Contains five prepaid collectible miniature games. I want you to see those dice. Yeah, but they have all kinds of them. These are different. Oh, the boxes look different. No, those are different companies. Here's the ones I used to get. Oh yeah, to paint. Mm -hmm. The Warhammer stuff. Is that what yeah, they're called? Yeah, which this is a Warhammer. 
Have you seen these tanks, Kevin? I don't remember seeing these before. This? Oh, okay. Okay. So that's why. Because you never were interested in those. Oh, wow. They still have the pints. That's neat. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's cool. Look, this one's called Prison Outbreak. Come around this way. Yeah, Here's pints. All these. Big, big Mommy. Uh, block for this game. So basically, they just made a cartoon version. Oh, okay. So it's. It goes, Wonder if Andrew would like any of these. This big guy. Wonder. You don't think he'd like one of those big ones? This is a great game. Uh, for the okay. I was gonna say, is it a good game for now? The family. Firefly. Yeah. I wonder what you do with all of it. Do you use all those for one game? Look at the little ones. You can. Yeah, see they have a... Those are so cute. Because what your game is. I like the pouch. Okay, now we, this is anthropology, there's Whole Foods, uh, Joseph Beth Booksellers is over here, uh, but this is a different um, uh, shopping mall that we don't come to very often, it's called Lexington Green. So now we're coming to Whole Foods, and we never come here just because it's on the other side of town, and it, like I said, it's just in a different mall that uh, we don't shop in very often, but it's a really, really nice mall. So as you can see, we are walking away from Whole Foods with a bag full of potato chips. So we don't go in there and get healthy things. We get things that are bad for us. They're all organic, Kevin said. Because they're organic, that, that means that no calories, right? They were so, so, so nice in there, though. So, Haley, we looked for the Amy's Polenta meal while we were in there because Kevin was going to try it, and they did not have it. They didn't, they had Amy's meals in different parts of the store, uh, like they had, like, breakfast. They had some that we had never seen before, but, um... Uh, we didn't end up getting any frozen meals, but they we looked specifically for that polenta meal and they didn't have it But they were so nice. Everybody we saw was nice and um, a Girl that a manager that works there. Well, I don't know if she's a manager, but she, um, she, said she does marketing. She said she does marketing. Her name's Lindsay. She ended up giving me some uh, dark chocolate sea salt caramels so I'll be trying those, and, but I think that was really cool for her to do that because, you know, she didn't have to. Um, but I was asking her, there's some Angie's Holly Drizzle. It's the Boom Chicka Pop, and Priscilla and Valerie had told me about two different kinds um, through Instagram. And so we went in Whole Foods looking for those too. And um, they didn't have any of those. They had sold out. So I'm still going to have to, I'll keep an eye out for those. I know they have Boom Chicka Pop at many places. They had some at Target, and I really didn't pay much attention to it because I didn't know it was the Holly Drizzle. It wasn't in the, since it, I'm used to buying Holly Drizzle in a different bag. 
since those said boom chicka pop, I wasn't looking for it to be holly drizzle. So I'll have to look, uh, pay, pay closer attention. So right now we're going to the mall. We're going to Dillard Club. Uh, yeah. Because I have a couple places that I, just a couple quick places I want to stop in here. Okay, so we're going in Toys R Us. We, the only place we ended up going in the mall was GNC because um, the Disney store was closed. So now we're at Toys R Us. Uh, yeah. I have to have somewhere to sit my car. That is so cute. How much is that? 80 That is cute. I like that a lot. That would fit in at their house too because they have a, a leather sofa. This is all Star Wars. Wow, yeah. look at him. Kevin would still play with one of those. You and Andrew. I like that. Like like that is awesome. I like that. Yeah, well, I mean, the so. cantina. Look oh, at that yeah. cantina. They've never had that before. You're going to see a resurgence of Star Wars. That so. is neat. Because of the movie? When they come out with the new one. We've never seen this before. Kevin doesn't have that. I bought him that, the spider and the gas for Christmas. What's this? Just Ender a dra dragon. Ender Dragon. But it's $60. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I like the Ender Dragon. Yeah? So you don't want anything? No, I don't. Yeah. Okay, so... Those take up a lot of room on my, day, my table. <laughs> so I can't show some of the aisles that we're going down and some of the things that we're picking up because I have chosen the theme for Gavin's birthday. And I've also uh, pretty much picked out... Kevin picked out the theme for Christmas. So we're actually buying some of that here, and uh, because I've seen it on the stuff online, but I didn't want to have to pay for shipping. So I can't show you all the aisles that we're going down, but they have some really, really cool stuff here. You see behind me, kind of see the, see the aisles. See, they have these houses for girls. I think they ought to have houses like this for boys. And then, like the like the Barbie townhouse, and then you could have your men sliding down like poles and stuff like that, or hanging off lines. I think that would be cool for for the superheroes to have have their own house. But in this cute, they have dress up clothes. This is the imagination s section. They have all kinds of stuff. So we're going into Best Buy now. Our shopping trip to Toys R Us was pretty successful. We bought some things, one thing for Gavin's birthday, but three things for Christmas. And we definitely have the theme, so we'll just keep adding on to that. So now we're going into Best Buy. We're going in Target and our little bat friend is back. And he likes to get up in the corner and sit there. And hopefully no one bothers him. Because he's really cute. So I forgot that I was vlogging. And, well, the last thing I showed was, I think, Toys R Us. So, after Toys R Us, no, I showed us Best going Buy. in Best Buy. We went in Best Buy, and we got some stuff that you will see in a haul. And I don't know if Kevin will want to do videos of those things or not to show how they work. Just that one. Just the one, not the, what was that thing we bought for me? The What's it drive. called? A hard a drive? drive? Okay, we bought a backup drive for me because my computer is like, it gets full. From, is it for me making and videos? Pictures, yeah. pictures and videos. It takes up so much space on your computer. So I bought a backup drive. And um, so anyway, after Best Buy, we went and got something to eat because we were starving. Uh, we ate at um, Culver's and Chick-fil-A. We were going to eat someplace different, but most places were pretty full. So, um, so we just ate Chick-fil-A and Culver's, and then we went in... Meyer and bought a couple things which you'll see during a haul I'm sure that will go up before this and then after Meyer we went in Target and Best Buy not Best Buy Big Lots, Big Lots. I knew it began with a B <laughs> 
so now we're on our way home after all that. So, um, and Ashley called us. She is eating with a friend at Kane's. So, uh, that's good. I'm glad she's uh, out and getting her something to eat, too. Bye. You saying bye? Bye. Say bye. Say bye. 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 You're so smart. Bye. 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 I'm not leaving. They are. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Say no kitty cats. No kitty cats on the table. We don't want you. No, no. That's right. No, no.